Trump and the Iran deal key questions for the oil market. The global energy industry has plenty at stake as President Donald Trump prepares to announce whether the U.S. will withdraw from the Iran nuclear deal. The potential for renewed Iranian sanctions has helped to drive the two main crude benchmarks to the highest level since 2014, with Brent hitting a four-year high of $76.34 a barrel on Monday while West Texas Intermediate topped $70.84 a barrel. But how much of the risk is already baked into the price remains unclear. Jack Allardyce, an oil and gas analyst at Cantor Fitzgerald, said details around any new sanctions will indicate how much Iranian crude is at risk of being shut out of international markets. He estimates the loss of 200,000 to 300,000 barrels a day is most likely. The resumption of sanctions will drive a short-term increase in benchmarks, potentially towards $80 a barrel depending on the scope and timing. He said, adding that with the market already having priced this scenario in to an extent there was a risk of a sell-off back below $70 a barrel if the U.S. stance was less aggressive than anticipated. Since international sanctions were lifted against Iran's crude oil exports in 2015, Tehran has successfully cemented China, India, South Korea and Japan as some of the biggest buyers of its crude. Exports to Europe have also resumed and currently account for about a fifth of the 2.5 meters B, D total. If the U.S. unilaterally reimposes sanctions, many analysts see the flows to Europe as most at risk, with banks and companies more likely to flinch at the risk of falling foul of Washington given their exposure to the U.S. The extent of this may depend, however, on whether any U.S. penalties on Iran contain so-called secondary sanctions targeting individuals or institutions facilitating significant trade with the country's oil industry. Iran could be effectively shut out of the Western financial system, as what happened recently to Russian aluminium producer Ruzel. Analysts at Goldman Sachs said on Tuesday that they saw several hundred thousand barrels at risk even if the impact was not immediate. But they warned that secondary sanctions could lead to a collapse in Iran's exports. If the U.S. imposes secondary sanctions on Iran, the impact on companies in Europe will be commercially equivalent as if the EU had imposed sanctions itself, said Jason Hungerford, partner at Norton Rose Fulbright LLP. He added that banks in other jurisdictions would also be incredibly cautious about financing trade with Iran given the reach of the U.S. Treasury. Japan and South Korea could reduce Iranian oil imports to placate Washington with which it is engaged in talks over North Korea. India could limit imports but China, the biggest individual buyer of Iranian crude taking 600,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,
This allowance was to make up for the years it spent under sanctions, when its rivals in the cartel were able to increase their market share at Iran's expense. As oil prices rise again, the question is whether a potential drop in Iranian barrels coming to market could result in an uptick in exports from countries such as OPEC Kingpin Saudi Arabia. Ayman Nasseri, at consultancy FGE, said, until now Saudi Arabia has indicated no change in policy. It has not stepped in even as countries such as Venezuela and Angola produced below their targets, he added. But Riyadh has been a vocal opponent of a nuclear deal and is fighting Iran in several proxy wars in the region, including in Yemen. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman II has lobbied Mr. Trump for a harder line on Iran. While the kingdom has sought to bolster prices to fund an expensive economic and social reform program at home, analysts believe it does not want the oil price to rise too far. Additional revenues from increased foreign sales at Iran's expense may be seen as a better route than letting oil prices run too hot, especially given Mr. Trump's warning that he believed OPEC had artificially boosted the price. Yeah.